Masking is very simple. When we mask something, what we're going to be doing is holding the control key. Masking is all done through the control key. If I click and drag from the canvas onto my object, I will create a mask across. Again, I'm using X symmetry by hitting the letter X. I can also disable it. To deselect your masking, you have to hold control and drag on the canvas. Again, if I click on the inside of the object, I can create a mask. To deselect part of the mask is Control and Alt. All right, so to mask is the Control key. And when I drag, you will notice that my square is dark gray. If I want to deselect a specific area of my mask, I will hold the Control and the Alt key, right? And now notice that our square is a light gray. All right, I can hold just the control key to mask, right? And when I hold Alt, my square will turn white. So this is how you mask. Very simple stuff. To select the inverse, right, the opposite side of something that I've masked, what you have to do is you have to hold the control key and click on the canvas. Click on the canvas. Don't drag because if you drag, you're going to deselect your mask. Again, click. Now, you will also notice that if you click on your brush icon, mine is at the bottom left hand side of my UI, yours will probably be on the top left on the left tray. So, if you click on your brushes while you're holding the control key, you will notice that your icon turns into a mask rectangle icon. This is because I'm selecting the mask rectangle at the moment. If you click on your brush icon, you will notice that a certain limited amount of brushes will appear. These are the brushes that you can use for masking. So we can select the mask lasso. Again, I'm holding the control key. And now, if I clear my mask, you will see that my tool now works like a lasso. Again, by holding the control key, my selection will be dark gray. And when I let go, I have a mask. And to cut part of the mask, I will hold the control key and the alt key. And my selection will turn into a light gray. Okay? I'm going to deselect by holding control and dragging on the canvas. I have other tools like the mask curve, the mask curve pen, the mask circle, and other custom um, brushes. I'm going to talk about the mask curve because it's a very interesting tool, the curve tool, and we'll be using that tool for other things such as the visual masking, the uh, polygrouping. So I've selected the mask curve and the way that the mask curve works is that if you click and drag on your canvas, you will get a line with a gradient on one side. When I let go of this tool, the area with the gradient will be masked. Again, let me clear the canvas, click and drag, and you will notice that the area where the gradient was, it's masked. If I drag my mask curve and I hold the shift key, my line will snap to specific degrees. I, th I believe they're 10 degrees. So when I let go, I can get a straight mask, okay? I can do it again from the top. Hold the shift key, and now the right-hand side will be masked. Like the other masking tools, I can deselect certain areas by holding control, right? I get the typical dark gray gradient and then if I hold alt you will notice that that line turns white so when I let go that area of the gradient will now be deselected again click I can hold the shift key and when I hold alt the line turns white right and now the right hand side will be deselected all right let me clear my selection and uh, one thing that I want you guys to notice is that mask curve, this curve has very interesting functionality. If I click and I drag 
to create a curve what I will do is use tap the alt key just once and you will notice that my curve has bent I can use this to create curves I can tap again and drag tap again and drag okay so now the area where the gradient is pointing will be masked and if I want to deselect again I would hold the control key drag click alt to create a curve click alt to create another curve and now if I hold the alt key my line will turn white and that area will be deselected from my mask if I hold the control key right and I double tap the alt key tap tap you will notice that I've created a sharp corner okay and to deselect a sharp corner from this mask area I would hold the control key get that curve back double tap on my alt key tap tap so I can get the sharp corner create a straight line and then just hold the alt key to get that white line again and then let go and now I have subtracted from that area so these are the basics of the masking tool.